development. So when we think about measuring development, we tend to measure it using social indicators or economic indicators. But sometimes we talk about social well-being being a measure of quality of life, how happy someone is, or standard of living being economic well-being, how much income do they earn. So a first example is birth rates, and these are live births per thousand people per year, so we don't count stillborn uh, children. Birth rate is pretty good because it gives us a good indication of how developed a country is. Generally, the birth rate is high in a LIC and low in a HIC. The death rate, so the death rate is the deaths per thousand people per year. This is not as reliable uh, because it can be influenced by many political factors. Infant mortality is a brilliant measure of uh, development. So this is the deaths of children below the age of one per thousand people per year. That tells us uh, a lot about neonatal healthcare in a country. The number of doctors per thousand people, again, a good social measure of development because it tells us the quality of the healthcare in a country. Literacy rate, another way that we can socially measure or measure the social well-being of a country. That's the percentage of the population that can read and write up to the age of 15. We use age 15 because it's the age that people leave school. Access to clean water. So this is the percentage of the population that have a reliable supply of clean water. That, that word reliable and clean really important. However, a better way than using a single indicator is to use a composite indicator. And this composite indicator is called the Human Development Index, and it takes three measures, GNI per capita, life expectancy, and literacy rate. And based on those three measures, it gives a country a score from zero to one. Countries such as HICs that are more developed, they will fall in this area of dark green, closer to number one. Countries that are less developed will have a score closer to zero. However, there are lots of social and economic limitations of uh, measuring development. For example, some countries, it is very difficult to get the data. Political instability might mean that it's hard to get that data. Some countries may lie about their data uh, out of fear of being shamed by the international community. When we measure official measures such as uh, GNI per capita, that doesn't account for the informal economy, which can make up a large percentage of some countries' GDPs. And also, uh, corruption can mean that sometimes figures uh, might not reveal the true story about a country.